Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Polish Half an Hour on WNYE TV Channel 25. Some time ago, we thought about uh, making a program about uh, certain cities where there's a large population of Polish people. And uh, since uh, I can say I grew up a little bit in Clifton, I thought Clifton would be a good city to start. So I would like to call it a Monday with Mayor. And uh, who's better to talk to about Clifton, if not Mayor, James Anzaldi. Welcome to our program. Thank you very much. Thank you. I remember when I first put my foot in Clifton, it was about 27 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with my friend uh, Zen, we started a small yeah. business and I met you. I was a councilman then, yes. No, you were a mayor. That was 92. Oh, oh 92, yeah. 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 I think you're the, at least from what I know, the longest serving mayor. 25 years? I've been the mayor. Uh, yeah, I started my 25th year on July 1st. You must be a good mayor. Well, I try. <laughs> I try my best. The people have been good to me. Yeah, and it's, it's, uh, it's strange. We talked before the program. You said that most of the councilmen are with, with Polish roots. All six council people have some Polish roots of some kind or another. Maybe you grew yours right now. You speak some <laughs> Polish? <laughs> I live in Clifton, so I'm part Polish. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Clifton. Uh, how, many, how many Polish people live in Clifton? Uh, about 13% of the population by the last census. Uh, it's the second largest um, ethnicity. Second largest after? Italian. That's why you're a mayor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for the Polish vote. <laughs> yeah, good, you know. I, I think Clifton is a very likable city. It's got the, what the, I really like, Batney Village which is beautiful old town. And um, I used to be there. There's, there's a certain amount of Polish businesses over there. How is Batney Village doing? Batney today? Village is doing very well. Um, a number of years ago, they started a special improvement district. Uh, I was there Friday night. They have summer concerts on Friday night. The place is uh, very clean and neat. Um, some of the older neighborhood outside of Batney Village, the older housing, um, there's some people who've lived there for a long time and newcomers. And we continue to try our best to make sure housing stock is well taken care of. And we try to in invest in the community uh, to make it a good place to live. And we also try to encourage the people who own the homes to take care of their, their yards, to take care of their streets, to make sure everything's clean. Uh, sometimes we have some difficult situations here and there, no matter what neighborhood. But uh, we emphasize cleanliness, and Clifton's been very proud of that. Every city has an uptown and downtown. What would you call the Botany Village? Uh, Botany Village is the oldest neighborhood in the community. Uh, it was where Clifton began. Uh, the Botany Village is named after the Botany Mills, the Woolen Mills. Uh, during the war, um, it was Botany Village that created the uniforms for the uh, armed forces for the United States. And um, many, is many that, people... Is that where the old big factory used to be that the they knocked it down? The old big factory now, it's uh, Kmart and Pathmark. Yes. Um, and there was even more down the street. That was Forceman, that was one of the Woolen Mills, and down towards Passaic was the Botany Mills. But they're part of our history. Passaic River is part of our history because the, all these places that were factories needed water and they had ready water from the Passaic River. So everything started at Batney Village and grew to the one of the largest cities in New Jersey. 11th is it? 11th largest city in New Jersey. About 84,000 people. With what's interesting, largest ethnic diver diversity. A few years ago, somebody came up to me and said, you know, Clifton is the most diverse community in the state of New Jersey because they have 67 different languages spoken. And we just learned about two months ago that now we're about 81 different languages other than English. But I would say about 95% of the people of Clifton are communicating in English, which is good. And they communicate with their neighbors very well. We learn different cultures and traditions. And it's a pretty safe, good place uh, for families to live in each and every neighborhood. When you look at the uh, all different uh, communities, let's say Polish, is there anything like division like Italian has this part of a city, Polish has this part you know, of a city? Probably the one area that's very Polish is Athenia. Athenia. Uh, and it always has been. It has a lot to do with the church, St. John Canty being there. A lot of people who are of a, a Polish extra extraction live there. So from your experience of 25 years being a mayor, what, can, what do you can say about Polish people? Oh, they make great pierogi. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's one thing I learned. Uh, I've learned that. Um, I've learned a lot of traditions. You know, we have a, a, sm a small um, Pulaski Day celebration at City Hall for flag raising. Uh, they also, before they go to the New York parade, that they have a small parade from uh, St. John Canty to the buses at the Athena Veterans Post. It's a very warm, good community, and they treat me very well. We know that New Jersey is one of the most expensive states to live. Insurance rates, uh, property taxes. How are property taxes in Clifton? Property taxes are too high in New Jersey in general, every of the 566 um, communities. I think that's what's happened in Trenton the last couple of years with the 2% cap has helped every community. 
Uh, Clifton has always been the, in the lower half of taxes in Passaic County. I think we're about fourth or fifth lowest uh, tax rate in Passaic County. But it's still too high for most um, moderate income pe people. Um, and I think that what we've seen in Trenton is going to help. Not right away, but it's sort of over a five-year period, we're going to see a big difference. Just this year, Clifton's taxes for city purposes only went up one point. It's the lowest tax increase in years. Uh, and it has a lot to do with us being capped by the state at this 2%. It's a wonderful thing that's happened. Uh, I think every taxpayer should uh, give credit to Chris Christie for having the guts to do what had to be done. If somebody is choosing Clifton to, as a city to live in, uh, they don't have to worry that this is a huge place on taxes. Like you're somewhere in the middle, mm. lower. Maybe just a little less than the middle. A little less than the middle. And still, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. It's a great place for people to raise their children. Uh, there's elementary schools in every neighborhood. There's park in almost every neighborhood. Um, there's a lot of new things uh, to do in Clifton. Uh, we just uh, finished a few years ago with Athena Park. Uh, the next part of it, the next 18 acres are going to be done probably in the fall or in the spring. Uh, it's you something mention, for young people to do. Did you mention that you have 40 parks? We have about 40 parks in the city. Some are small pocket parks, but many of them are major parks, uh, and we have a lot of activities. Our recreation department does many, many programs. They're all on the very, very um, inexpensive side, so all families could afford them. There's many free programs. And we have the Boys and Girls Club in Clifton, next to none. It's uh, done a wonderful job for younger families. Uh, they have uh, about 5,000 kids that they take care of. Every That's day. a lot. It's amazing. It's amazing. And total population is 80-something thousand, right? About 84,000. So about 10,000 is Polish. Uh, I would say approximately you know, something like that, I That's guess. That's a lot. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're about to, that's about. You have a lot of Polish stores, right? Polish delis, Polish church. Yeah, and we have a Polish church, St. John Canty, which uh, I love the place. Uh, they have some nice uh, uh, picnics and things in, the, in the September. I love going there. Um, also, there's a, a Polish stores on Van Houten Avenue in, in Athena. There's Polish stores down at Botany Village uh, that sell great food. Uh, and many people, uh, both Polish and non-Polish, go to those stores. Every city has its challenges, and um, uh, you managed to uh, keep the city together for 25 years. And uh, I know there is new elections coming at the end of the year. We'll still don't know if you're going to run or mm -hmm. not. Maybe can you say no? It's too early. I'll make up my mind pretty soon. <laughs> okay. What is the biggest challenge facing you and a city, for you for the next period, or for somebody else that comes? You know, I've been around the government for 40 years. You know, I was a councilman before I was mayor, and I served in lots of things before I even became councilman. Probably the last four years have been the most difficult uh, because of the economy. The national economy, the worst economy since the Great Depression, has affected so many families, most especially in the area of not having a job. Uh, that's been very, very crucial to so many of our Clifton families to try to find a place to work so they could put food on the table for their families. I wish there was a quick fix. Uh, I wish that Washington had done something different, but they didn't. So uh, we're still living through a real rough economy. You know what? I tried to uh, find out a little more about the Clifton, and I went to the internet, of course. Uh -huh. And there's a couple things that I didn't realize. Uh, let's say, uh, let's, let's look at the movies. Uh, Donnie Brasco started uh, Johnny Depp in Al Pacino, was partially filmed in Clifton. They did a lot of that in Clifton. Donnie Brasco, yeah. a lot of the, the film of Donnie Brasco was done in Clifton. In 1996, then uh, Sopranos was this area, and Clifton also had a couple places. A couple places. And uh, also, if, if anybody watched uh, Martin Scorsese's uh, The King of Comedy, it uh, comes from Clifton. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Right. Huh. So you are a little, little Hollywood. I, I know that, and, uh, and I think John Seda lived in Clifton for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I think his family still lives here. Uh, he was like kind of a big movie star for all of us. Yes, yes. Uh, and we've had um, other things over the years. Um, I think... Uh, do, uh, let me ask you, if somebody wants to film in Clifton, do they go through you? They go through the uh, city manager's office. Uh, we have some strict rules about it. Do they spend a lot of money for the city? They pay you a lot? Um, no, there's a small fee. It's a, it's a well, it's a sizable fee. They have to may have maybe pay for police and things to protect the area. Okay. Um, but the city, I think, charges like a thousand dollars. Is there so. anything else that the Clifton is famous for? A product or a person? Oh well, you know, at one time Clifton was um, well known for a lot of the industrial people. You know, uh, Beecham Products, which later became yes. GSK. They're just leaving now. Oh, they made shampoos and toothpaste, aquafreshes, aqu like you know, well-known toothpaste. Um, 
we used to have the Shilton the plant that did Old Spice. Uh, as a matter of fact, we just have a Old beautiful Spice. We knew it back in Poland. Right, right. Yeah. So it's a worldwide thing. Um, <laughs> and uh, actually, there were murals on the wall before they knocked down the building that the city asked to be saved. And they're on display right now in the art center. We have a beautiful art center in Clifton um, with a sculpture park. Um, that kind of brings a lot of people here that are into the arts. Um, and we have a lot of other things, too. You know, we have the uh, Hamilton House. Uh, it's a restored old farmhouse. It's a beautiful farmhouse that's open all um, fall, winter, um, spring um, for people to tour. It has old things like stoves and uh, old things that before there was a record player, which some people don't even know what a record player is today. Uh, before that time, it's a beautiful place with old furniture and for kids to learn. We still um, send um, every elementary school child goes to the Hamilton House uh, in their elementary school years to see what was at one time before. Clifton was Clifton the way we don't know it today because it was all farms. In 2017, city will have will be 100 years 100 old. 100 years old. If it's anything like our 50th and our 75th, I'm almost guaranteed there's going to be a huge parade. Uh, that was the signature event. There's probably going to be a lot of other smaller events that to raise money to support the parade. And there are probably a lot of historical things. Uh, last time we had um, some events at the high school auditorium. Uh, we did everything from pray together for the city in, the, in an interdenominational pray service. Uh, we uh, went to different trips, different places. Um, in buses as a group from Clifton. So I think it's going to be an interesting time. Uh, I'm looking forward to working on that committee. Great. We wish you good luck and there will be probably Polish representation, of course. Oh, absolutely. Every, every ethnic community will probably be represented in some way or another because as part of the last uh, celebration, we had something we called Holiday and that's all people together of all different ethnicities and we saw their food and their music and their dancing and things of that sort was really a beautiful event at the high school. And what's better to connect people if not the diversity of their food? Food, food is And I, music. Yeah. It's Good. amazing, you know, with all the different ethnicities, food connects us. Let me go back to the, uh, to the beginning of our conversation when I said that when people plan to move to the city, they look at certain things, taxes being one. And of course, they look at the school system you know, how, how is it comparing to other cities and safety? I think safety wise, Clifton has always been noted as a very safe place. Um, if you look at nationwide, the st stats uh, for towns over 50,000, we're always in the top 15% of the safest communities in the, st in the country. We have a wonderful police department. Uh, they, they are second to none as far as I'm concerned. They do a good job for the people. And the people themselves are very strong. You do know, they, they ticket people a lot? Um, they may on, on highways and things like that if there's somebody speeding or something. Um, you know, we, of course, you know, we have just like a lot of towns, we have older inside of street parking for some neighborhoods for uh, street sweeping and things like that. Once in a while, people get tickets there. We don't, we don't uh, tolerate things like very loud music out of cars because it's that bad for the quality of life. So they give tickets for that. Um, they give tickets for many other violations. That's what their job is. But I think the most important job is to protect the citizens. If somebody dials 911 for a medical emergency, or for God forbid, somebody breaking in a house, which doesn't happen very often, but does happen, um, they're there in seconds. Yeah, I know from my experience, uh, uh, I used to be uh, friend with the, one of the officers, uh, Mrs. Ortiz. Oh, yeah. She was a great, she was protecting my small business yeah. and she always came for coffee and she was <laughs> very nice. So. Yeah, Alex, she's, uh, she's retired now. She's retired, but yes. if she's watching, <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay, and let's talk uh, about the education. I think education in Clifton is good. Um, we have an elementary school in every neighborhood. We have two middle schools and we have a high school. I, you know, we just did, uh, went through graduation. Uh, couldn't be held at the Clifton High School Stadium because it's being worked on. They're putting a turf field in. So it was held at IZOD. Um, and the kids are all so polite and uh, so well, well behaved. And it was a beautiful graduation. And you hear all the statistics about how many scholarships they get. Uh, you hear the kids who are the Val Victorian, the Sal Victorian, and you hear from the president of the class. These are good, good people. Um, it's a large school. Um, you know, we have uh, an annex building for mostly ninth graders. Uh, it's always been a large school. You know, back in the uh, 60s and 70s, there was a thousand kids in classes. Now it's between 650 and 700 every year in that range. Um, but it's a good school. I, I always challenge everybody. Anybody wants to say anything about Clifton High School or Christopher Columbus or Woodrow Wilson, come with me. Just let's go right now and let's walk through the halls. And my experience has been was when we do it, they look at it and they say, oh my God, it's beautiful. And you know, it's, all three buildings are well taken care of, um, clean, 
Um, and our young people of Clifton, I think they have that family value in general that they get from the home. Um, are we, do we have any issues? There's always going to be issues. I don't care what town you are in. Um, you know, having been involved in the League of Municipalities for many years, you listen to people from even small little hamlets and villages. There's issues there too. Uh, 11th largest city, we do pretty well by ourselves. And uh, our people help to do it because they protect their town, they protect their neighborhoods. And I think they love their city too. I see that so often, so often how much uh, appreciation they have for their city. Mayor, thank you very much for coming to our studio. We wish you good luck with the running the city. If you decide to run for a mayor next term, good luck. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We know <laughs> you've been 25 years, you did something right. So thank you so much. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, nice to you. Thank you very much. Take care.